Hey, it's Nathan with CrazyEyeMarketing.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Facebook or MetaPixel on your ClickFunnels funnel. And I'm also going to cover how to install the conversion API on your ClickFunnels funnels. So that way you can accurately track different events on your sales funnels like leads and purchases and so on. So I'm going to assume that you have already set up a Meta business account. And what you need to do is go ahead and establish a data set. And you can come in here and click on add and create a brand new data set. I have a video all about setting up your meta business manager. So if you don't know how to set it up or create a data set, watch that video, I explain it all. But assuming you've done that, you should be able to come into your meta area and you wanna to go to events manager and you wanna come over here to your data sources area and then you wanna select the appropriate data set. So I'm gonna be using this ClickFunnels demo data set right here that I've created. And you may see a page that looks like this if you set up your pixel before. And if you haven't set up your pixel before, you'll see something else. So you'll see something that looks like this and you would go ahead and click on set up meta pixel and it'll bring you to the place that we're about to go to. So in my case, I have a page that looks like this because I've already set up my meta pixel on another site and I'm adding it to my ClickFunnels account now. To get to the meta pixel setup screen, we wanna come over here to manage integrations. We're gonna click on that and we wanna go ahead and we see that we have meta pixel already. I'm gonna click on manage and install Pixel on new website. And so now we are able to set up our Meta Pixel and this is where we would go to, if you clicked on that set up Meta Pixel option that I just showed you like a minute ago. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and install the code manually. And it brought me to the last step of setting up a new Pixel. But what I wanna do is come up to the install base code area. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy the code here. And I'm going to open a notepad document and I'm gonna paste my code right into it. Now this number right here is my Facebook or Meta Pixel that I'm gonna be using in my ClickFunnels account. So I'm gonna copy this code or this ID right here. And I'm gonna to go to my ClickFunnels account. I wanna be in the sites area and the overview area. And we click on these three dots right here. And we go into site settings and I can scroll on down here and I can enter my Facebook pixel ID right here. And so now I could just scroll on down and click on save or update site. And then my pixel would be installed on my ClickFunnels funnels. However, it is recommended that you add a Facebook access token or the meta conversion API because that provides more accurate tracking. So we're going to do that step next. So to do that, we're going to come back over here and we'll click out of here. Like we did our pixel and set it all up and everything. And it's all good to go. And so to set up the conversion API, I'm in the data sources area again. Make sure you've selected the correct data set, then come under settings here. And we wanna scroll on down. You do wanna make sure that you turn on automatic advanced matching because it provides more accurate tracking. But coming on down here, we have the option for conversions API. And we wanna come here to set up a direct integration and generate access token. So we're gonna click that option right here and it's gonna give us an access token. We're gonna to copy that. We're gonna come back to our ClickFunnels site and we're just gonna paste it right in there like that. And now you see an option down here for Facebook test event code. And you'll use this for actually testing to make sure that your API is working. So let's come back to the Meta Business Manager and we're gonna to go to test events up here. So click on test events and we can go ahead and confirm our server's events are set up correctly. So click that option and you see the test event code test 82290. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. Come back over to ClickFunnels I'm gonna paste it in here. And so this will let us test our API out without interfering with our analytics. Now, once we're done testing our funnels and making sure that the API is working, we'll come back in here and delete this test event code back out of here. But when testing, we wanna go ahead and add it in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll on down and update site. And then I'm gonna to come to my events manager here and I'm gonna scroll or click this option down here. And I wanna go ahead and pop, pop open my website. So I have Crazy Eye Media right here and we'll go ahead and open the website. Now I wanna go ahead and start clicking around on my website to see if I can trigger some events and stuff like that. I may also wanna grab a link to one of my funnels. So let me come to my funnels here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a link to a funnel and I'd wanna go ahead and do a test order here and I'll go ahead and rush my order and maybe I buy my OTO or not. I'm gonna skip my OTO in this particular example and I'm gonna go ahead and buy my downsell product right here. And now I'm on the order confirmation page. So I've clicked around on my website a little bit. I went through and I did a test order on my funnel. I probably wanna test a squeeze page or an opt-in form to make sure that it's tracking as well. But let's come back over here to the Meta Business Manager and we should see some events popping into our test events area. So I'm seeing page view events, I'm seeing subscribe button click, initiate checkout, more page view, subs subscribe button click, 
coming on up here. But I'm not seeing anything about purchases or anything like that. And I can also see from receive from, I'm seeing a lot of browser based events, which means that my pixel is firing off, but I'm not seeing any of my API events coming in here. And sometimes it does take a few minutes for things to start processing. So I'm gonna wait a few minutes and see if any of my API events pop up into this test events area. And so there we go. It did just take a few minutes for ClickFunnels to send the events over the API into Meta here. But we can see that I have several server events and the server events are my API events. And so we can see my lead has come through, my purchases have come through, and I could go ahead and click on like a purchase event. I can see the parameters that got passed over. So I could see my USD value right here. I could also see that key user data also came through. So like the name and contact information and address and all that stuff got passed from ClickFunnels into Meta. So that way they can figure out who my customers actually are and help me with my advertising efforts by helping me optimize my ads. And so it looks like my Pixel and API are both working successfully. So then again, the last thing you would wanna go ahead and do is once everything is hunky-dory, you come back to your sites and your overview here and you want to come into your site settings and you want to go ahead and delete out that that test ID or the test event code because you're ready to go live with your information. And we scroll on down here, update site. And so there we go. That's how you can go ahead and install the Metapixel and Conversion API onto your ClickFunnels website. And hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, and or head over to crazyoutmarketing.com. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.